Let's hope that goes in focus soon. Well, that's one of those dates because uh, trust me to download uh, a fucking crack copy of Nightmare on Elm Street that saves back all the trainer options to the uh, disc. So that didn't work. I don't know where I got that from, but I only downloaded it because I saw the screenshots. Look quite interesting actually. So, well, uh, I'm quite happy not spending uh, 200 quid on a 1541 Ultimate 2 with all the optional doodars. So, uh, let's give this a go, eh? that one plus I don't want the high score saver this program is dedicated to Frank who I don't know who that is Yeah, I was just listening to the music. Quite interesting music, actually. So, yeah, it's a puzzle game. And, uh... uh Gans Teeth said to me, uh, it plays better in two-player mode. And I was like, no. But I don't like the way it looks in two-player mode. It reminds me too much of Minefield on Windows 3.0. Very traumatic memories growing up in the uh, destruction of every other format except crappy windows. Uh, and I thought, okay, I'll just check out a long play. And the long play done the same thing. Everyone plays this on uh, like the 2D mode. However, you probably would have bought it because of the isometric uh, screenshot. Anyway, this is uh, a later game on the uh, C64 by Anthony Crowther, so I hope he's cracked the older, more than four colours on screen at once bullshit, but he might not have. Obviously, sprite colours are separate, and obviously, I'm waffling on, because I'm still uh, consuming my breakfast. Let's just leave it that way. So it's a, a nice informative title page, it's a good way of doing it. I'm not actually sure if there's stuff in the border on the top there. No, I don't think there is. So I don't know who Bish is. Is Bish Ben Dalglish? Never, never heard him referenced as that on any game. Now the thing is, it's been uh, quite a few days since I looked at this game and then looked at what was on uh, YouTube because I know exactly what this game looks like and I was only really interested to check it out to see graphically how much it differs from the Amiga version. Which Tony Crawford may have written for the Amiga as well. I'm not sure actually. He did write some Amiga games. Tony Crawford's been around for uh, a long time in the industry. The last thing I know he worked on, along with loads of other people obviously, was uh, I think it was the uh, Xbox 360 version of Battlefield. You know, the first one that came out, which I didn't like. The uh, controls were not great. It just didn't work with a joypad. Um, but the graphics were actually quite nice on it. 
Now he also wrote uh, N2O, nitrous oxide is that? I think it's called nitrous, anyway it's a PlayStation 1 game and uh, it's really trippy actually and uh, the Crystal Method soundtrack that goes with it obviously goes well. You have to check that game out, it's called N2O on the, the original PlayStation. I actually had an original copy of it. Don't know now. Fuck knows what I've bought over the last 25 years before I moved. Don't do it, mad Commodore. Don't do the 3D game. Do the... No. So the graphics are pretty massive, actually. They're the ones that disappear. I actually, uh, I think you have to set off the bombs. Okay, that was a bit iffy. I might do that. Oh no! I'm still getting used to the controls instinctively knowing which way you go if you press up and down. Now luckily you don't have to push the joystick diagonally. Win. So you can walk over the bottoms. Alright, oh, okay, so... Actually no, so you don't need to do that. Wow, the uh, the time limit is actually very tight. Well, it's going to be a disaster then, isn't it? the wrong way on the joystick. I almost done the simplest level. Actually you don't need to go. Can't move when the explosions are going on, I don't think. No, the roll up's gone now, and the uh, magic lighter may be out of magic uh, uh, zero point energy because uh, there's no gas in the fucking thing, and yet the massive flame comes out when you light it. Okay, we'll be lucky to light the uh, other roll up for later. Ten points floor bonus. Yeah, I'm not really interested in the bonus. Okay, so it's more of the same. Okay, I've just screwed myself there. <laughs> oh no. Lost. Oh no, you can't. Okay, how the hell do we? Uh... Oh no, that's ice, isn't it? Oh shit. <laughs> Your new code is bomb. Okay, how do you enter the thing? Hello. 
Oh no! I don't know how you enter the pool, mini. Oh no! I'm sure. Oh no! The uh... end of madness. I hope you like that clip. Took me a while to find it. Let's try that again. Yeah, he can't move, actually. Yeah, I have to actually think about um, which way I'm pushing the joystick, actually. So, it's still early days for this game and me. Crap, I don't know which order to do it. actually a really good game. Ah uh, no! Okay, I don't know if people are saying, uh, you know, play the uh, 2D version uh, because of the, uh, you know, panic mode and you push the joystick the wrong way and you're a bit fucked because you fall off the tile when you wanted to move to a different tile. Um, I'm sure you'd get used to that. Especially if you bought that game with your pocket money. Um, I didn't buy puzzle games for my C64, I must admit. Very rare. I had uh, Confusion, which was an early game by Incentive Software, with uh, one of the earliest uh, Rob Hubbard tunes on it. But uh, I quite like Bomboozle there. <sighs> So I think we've managed to completely cover up the, uh, the enormous patio doors and window on the top. Might be why there's a few cracks in the uh, wall there. Maybe it's just too big. Then again, maybe it's the massive bloody lorry shaking the crap out of my uh, 100 plus years old house. Now I wanted to play something called uh, Domain of the Undead. And it's not in here. Now there was uh, another uh, puzzle game called, uh, well it's actually called Interchange or Insector Hecti. I think it's uh, and the Interchange or something like that. It's got like uh, something a bit like that Bumblebee character that you have on uh, whatchamacallit uh, The Simpsons It shows how long it's been since I watched that rubbish Although I probably would watch some of the early ones While my dinner's cooking or something If the C64 isn't working I suppose So yeah, we're going to have to find uh, another copy of Nightmare on Elm Street and uh, it might not work because of the whole uh, disc uh, swapping business because it comes on two discs um, and one of the files on the second disc the first one on the disc image is called side 2 so I created uh, a D71 disc image which is exactly the same size as two D64 images because it's from the double sided uh, 
you know, 157, one Commodore drive. Although I thought that was uh, twice the density as well. But I have played this game, but I haven't reviewed it. I've just captured some gameplay footage. And uh, this is a cheap game. I don't know exactly how much it was, but about three quid. I think. That's funny because like 90% of these games are cracked from uh, cassette. Yeah, high tech, yeah, they're about three, four quid, depending on what year. Doesn't say high tech premium or nothing. Maybe on the CRT the title page might work. Don't really work like that. See they're doing the flashing borders, so why don't they just do the flashing borders when the uh title page is on? Right, okay, so I'm gonna go with English, da da da. Oh right, that's uh, who wrote the docs in 2010. Right, yeah, I think he's like uh, a weird sort of ladybug kind of game. Right, eh... I'm going to say no for all of these. No, no, no. Nice inoffensive music. Nice parallax star field. I wonder if they're doing the star field with uh, sprites. I don't have a password. Don't make me press enter. Uh, Ravi didn't have all that. So that's got the uh, boulder dash uh, scrolling, as I uh, like to call it. You have to basically fix the maze so it actually makes sense. Oh, no, and. <laughs> not get uh, killed by the uh, bugs on the screen. Right, you go over there, mate. And, uh, There you go. So you've got to like fix the maze basically. So it's actually a really nice little puzzle game. Right, okay, that's a bit of a bad move on my part. Go up there to fix that one. Yeah, when these bugger off. I don't know. So I have to go up there. Luckily they're not coming down here. There we go. So that makes sense. So you've got to try and avoid them, which is not as easy as you would imagine. Okay, so luckily, oh, no, nah, see, I didn't think about that. Of course, you've got to do the whole level again. And they can't get to me there. Ooh, 
that wasn't a good idea. So I like ladybug, you can actually, uh, you know, block them off. Uh, no. Alright, okay, so. Uh, no, you're a bit screwed there. So they're using the full screen and all the uh, status display is uh, in the border. So that's nice as well, I've just noticed that. I don't know if that lets you kill them. So it's, it's kind of like those uh, old uh, sliding puzzle games mixed with the uh, rotate the pieces on Tetris. It's actually quite a nice game. I don't know what those diamonds do, so um, luckily they don't come down here, so I might go and do that one up there all the time. Ooh. So they can temporarily isolate themselves, so there is that. we could possibly do this here all right okay so the time is actually quite generous on this so they do keep coming down the same way oh, bollocks probably needed that oh crap we're gonna be ah uh, if we was in position there all right okay so this could be an iffy one There we go. Well, hopefully this should be it. Ooh, we done two levels. So yeah, you get the idea. It's uh, pretty much the same thing. Uh, I don't know why that enemy is moving slower. Alright, I don't really want to set that one just yet. Although now that I've done that, that's there. You stay there, boy. So, um, I don't know what that is. That's a stunt. So um, I don't think you can walk over them, though. That's the only thing. I'll come down here, you dick. Ooh, look, stop the time. And that's obviously that. So these are souls are trapped in here now. Done another level. Yeah, so you get the idea with that. That's a, that's a nice little puzzle game for not much money. Let's see what other rubbish I've stuck on the SD card. So yeah, we have to find Nightmare on Elm Street again. Because I did actually like the way that looked. Might not be my kind of game to play, but I would put in the effort if I could find the instructions. I'm pretty sure I don't have that game and I bet you it costs a fortune, so let's hope the instructions are uh, on the internet somewhere. Did actually have a, a huge directory full of like, you know, PDF and text file instructions for the C64. Until that hard drive went bang. Hmm. I think that's a hard drive that had uh, T 
two or three uh, copies of uh, CVG Guide to Consoles that you couldn't get anymore. That was a millennial quality lighter flame, right? Uh, Spitfire is a shoot 'em up with massive sprites from Elite Systems or Elite. Elite. Right, there's Galivan. What's your uh, Mag Max? Now, I can't remember which one my mate bought. He did buy one of these. It's the one that had the. Uh, the, the robot, you pick up the pieces and you become a robot, you start as like the uh, shuttlecraft from uh, Star Trek, which famously was uh, only 75% to correct scale. So they had to, uh, you know, crouch down when they were actually inside the uh, shuttlecraft. There was a toy company that made that for them. Uh, at cost price, I believe, in exchange for the rights to do the uh, Star Trek toys. I'm just listening to hear what they're doing, but uh, yeah, the two cats that fight all the time. They're uh, they're in separate rooms at the moment. One's here with me. So, yeah. Because of the way you have to do online ordering, it, unless you will uh, accept any fucking substituted product, which I won't. Yeah, I have to order, you know, three different types or two different types of something in case one is out of stock. If it's something I really need, you know, to stock up on and, you know, put in the freezer because I've got none left. So I've ended up with 32 bloody sausages now, fuck's sake. All three sizes and uh, varieties of the only one I would eat. Well, this is nice music. C64 does good old time music like this and harpsichord. Flute and harpsichord and rasping reed sounds are actually really easy to do on the C64. Ah well, minus one point for not letting me press the fire button on the joystick to skip. Yeah, I don't think this is the one. So I think we're going to have to play Mag Max out oh, bollocks. Yeah. I'm pretty sure Imagine done both in the old, uh, you know, yellow background. Bloody hell, come on. Of course, it might not work. It might work. They say yes to everything, because I don't really want to play this. It's not the one I wanted to play. Gonna have to have a bit of coffee then. Sadly, it's only decaf. Now, obviously, I've got the trainers on, so bubble's gonna happen here. Yeah. Right, so it's up to jump. Well, if it scrolled a bit faster left and right, you could uh, easily use this game engine for uh, rolling thunder, actually. And go to horrendously blocky graphics. I'm sure they're expanded. Uh, are they expanded? I think the robots are. Yeah, they are. They're expanded. You ain't. 
So I must be using two sprites for you. So vertically expanded uh, multicolor sprites, they're like you know a quarter of the resolution of two high res sprites. So and in some cases you're better off having a high res vertically expanded sprite and uh, a multicolor vertically expanded sprite underneath. Still only need two sprites, but uh, yeah, anyway. I'm still smoking in it. Don't smoke. Alright, like Ghostbusters, we're ready to believe. This might not be as bad as I thought. Now, instinctively, I want to go up there, and I can go up there. The bonus points for that then. So the game is actually uh, coded quite well. Uh, most of the graphics are okay. The other robots are a bit too blocky. And they uh, maybe should have gone with like MSX style high risk sprites or something. I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. I won't make that jump. Oh no. Oh crap. So going all the way to the top then. Now oh, bollocks. Oh. What is that little flashing thing that goes on there? I bet we have to be on that one. Oh, oh no. So yeah, it's actually not a bad game. But like, this isn't the game I was intending to play. Why can't I jump on that one? Now of course I ain't got to do what I've got to do. So there's that. Is there an exit down the bottom here somewhere? No. I bet you definitely shouldn't. Oh, right. I was going to say you shouldn't drop down there, but maybe, maybe the exit is here. No. That's some sort of weird exit. So, um, the only thing I'm going to mark this game down for is um, actually we have to count the colours now. I think there is. Hard to tell how many colours there are here. Because the plasma TV is so shit. That's obviously to get back up there. I feel like I'm underwater. They're quite difficult to get there, man. I was still in the blue bit. So I honestly don't know how I'm supposed to get out of here, so. Right, so we're back here. Yeah. yeah, music's not brilliant. The music is a bit quo barbish, which was okay. Actually, it's not as, quite as good as that. Uh, I think some take multiple hits. Can't blow these things up. Well, I thought that was a blocked passage there. So. Yeah, it's not a bad game. Uh, there's blue, light blue, black, and uh, I'm pretty 
sure that's light blue on uh, a single grey colour. So all the other colours you see on screen are sprites. Now it's a four colour game which I don't like. Um, and uh, the music is sort of 1983 quality. Hey, let's try a bit of Mag Max in eight. Yeah, it was Mag Max, yeah. Don't load the wrong one, Mad Commodore. Where the hell did I put that bloody uh, domain in the undead? And actually, uh, I think I may have downloaded that from some Italian website that I found yesterday. Because I was trying to see uh, a cassette or a cassette inlay photo for uh, Planet of War which is quite a funny review and I had no choice but to call it a podcast because 75% of the time the stupid camera is out of fucking focus it's not really a good enough game for me to go and play it again uh, actually I've done Realm of Impossibility uh, so they had uh, like a link to some Italian website which had uh, an advert for it and two other games but it turns out they were like from a compilation they weren't from the same software company the other games were It's a Knockout and Domain of the Undead which I downloaded and he's missing Right, so, down to my last can of uh, Coca-Cola Zero, so I won't be uh, opening that right now. Might have to order some more. Probably buy it in the uh, one and a quarter litre bottles because it's cheaper. Mm, I'm supposed to be stocking up for the summer. So... Got some nice uh, cherry squash, which I have to check to see if there's uh, any uh, sweeteners or anything in it. Although I've bought it before, and uh, it's really nice. These actually taste a lot like uh, real cherry juice that you buy in the cartons from the refrigerated section, or near the milk that will survive a nuclear winter, that kind of stuff. So yeah, my mate had this for his Amstrad. So I played this on the Amstrad, but I never bought it for the C64. Probably for the same reason I didn't buy uh, Stealth for the C64, because I played it on uh, a friend's computer and it wasn't really necessarily as nice looking on the C64 definitely in the case of Star Raiders 2 fuck you know. I think it looks worse on the C64 than even the Spectrum but the Amstrad and the Atari version is uh, the way you want to go so yeah this was the uh, loading screen I believe So you'll have to imagine the uh, flashing bars. If I had a million subscribers, maybe I would, uh, you know, spend the uh, half hour to put the flashing bars on as a template. But uh, I really need a faster PC if I was going to, like, render videos all the time. Uh, high school saber, no. We should go with a very safe yes, 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 yes. So at least it's a joystick by default. So 
but there's no music or anything. You have to pick that up. And then when you get the legs, uh, you become a robot, isn't it? Big massive robot. However, by the time this game come out, I was like, I wasn't really uh, young enough to be watching Transformers and things like that. So uh, some of the colour combinations are a bit weird, like orange and blue or purple, is it? Yeah, it is blue. And a bit of red there. So again, another four colour screen. There's a hell of a lot of four colour C64 games. Four colour backgrounds, that is. I think you can go out there. Damn it, I shouldn't have pressed fire so he could have seen the uh, massive sprites. Yeah, there's no way to tell if those things are sprites or not. Spare pair of legs, always uh, handy. It's a futuristic uh, hip replacement operation, that is. Get a new pair of legs from the waist down. The whole lot, mate. It's kind of boring. And I think part of that is uh, the whole four colour background business. If the backgrounds were nicer. So you got your metal detector and you're searching for your, uh, you know, jewellery in the sand at the beach. Yeah, so now we're on uh, red, grey and black with a blue background. These are terrible graphics. I mean, the sprites are not bad, but uh, not only have they gone for fucking uh, character mode, obviously, but they've also stuck to four colours which is ridiculous very boring actually you got to find the exit now nah, I'm glad I didn't buy this on the uh, C64 it's not for me maybe it's for you but it's not for me actually today there's no reason to play a specific version of like an 8-bit conversion you'd play the best one you know not like back then when you could only afford one computer and so right okay Rick Dangerous 1 and 2 I hope this is the right way around Yeah, Rick Dangerous is another one of those games which I don't think are actually uh, worth praising. I think uh, in the case of Rick Dangerous, I can't remember if, if it was the Amiga or the C64 version I tried. I just found it annoyingly difficult, like a console game. I don't like games that are like that. Shows a lack of talent in game design that does. Actually, it's going to take a while to load. Save the.